My ex-neighbor wanted her lawnmower blade sharpened for free. But it gets worse. My ex-neighbor was a woman living alone and she didn't like the fact that living alone meant taking care of stuff on her own. She also had a bad habit of getting her granddaughter to play with my daughter and then she'd come up with an emergency and leave her granddaughter with me. She was supposed to be babysitting her. She would often try to get me or my husband to do various jobs for her. One example that comes to mind is when she decided that her lawnmower blade needed sharpened. I told her that I didn't think my husband knew how to do it since my father-in-law did it for us. The last time it needed to be done. My ex-neighbor then told me since she was a single woman on her own my father-in-law should do it. If he was a gentleman. I kept telling her my Phil was busy and had projects of his own and she got annoyed and wouldn't. Drop it. I then told her there is a local place that sells and services lawn movers and to get it done there. I even went as far as to calling the store and getting a quote from her because she told me she didn't know how to do it. It was $15 to get it done if you brought in just the blade and 30 if they had to remove it. I told her it would be easy with the right tools and she told me it was men's work and demanded my husband do it for her. He refused and she was mad at me for a few weeks because I wouldn't force my husband to do it. Your neighbor isn't the sharpest tool in the shed. Is she? I might have taken a file to the front edge of the blade so it couldn't cut at all. But with entitled people like that you never know when any interaction with them will turn into more stupidity. And if you do them a solid. It's just an opportunity for them to open the floodgates for more requests. Nicely avoided on your part. I have the opposite problem. I think my neighbor must have a motion detector on my toolbox. Every time I start some home improvement project he seems to appear like a genie out of nowhere. I'm like, I get it dude. You have a very extensive tool collection and you don't get to use it as much as you would like. But I have what I need to get it done and I like to feel a sense of accomplishment sometimes too. Ugh. I would have smacked it with a rock and said we did our best surely after she'll never ask for help. Again. I live on my own well with two dogs and I would never demand things to be done for me. Time for her to grow up and take responsibility for herself. And learn to be independent. She's an embarrassment. Have your fill do it. But charge her through the nose to have the blade put back on the lawnmower. Bonus points if you say. Now. Now. It's extremely unladylike to weasel out of payment for services rendered. You don't want to be known around the area as unladylike. Do you? Keep her mad at you so she avoids you. This is hilarious. I'm a single woman that lives alone. I don't want to do her so-called men's work I have a natural black thumb and an inability to start a lawnmower. So I either live in apartments or I pay someone to take care of it for me. If she needs a man to take care of her, she should find her own. Next time she has an emergency? Gasp. So do you you're just leaving by? I wonder why she was single. I have a neighbor like that who thinks I should drop everything and do things for them in the beginning I didn't mind helping a neighbor but it was getting out of hand really quick my roof is leaking when are you coming over to fix it? You didn't mow my lawn when you mowed yours. Do you have a ladder to paint my house? They had loggers cutting a road through my property so they could log their property and drag the Logs through my property instead of theirs I'm glad I caught them before they did too much damage. And told my neighbor to stay off my property or he's trespassing don't call or it's harassment. I'm a single woman and a homeowner. Anything I didn't understand. My daughter and I would research for the best solutions. If it was too complex or time consuming. I would bite the bullet and hire a qualified professional. Asking a neighbor is fine. Harassing your neighbor isn't. She wants a servant not a neighbor. Avoid her crazy ass. This sounds like a person you should loan money to. 
so she can start dodging and avoiding contact with you. She's your ex-neighbor? Stop doing anything for this neighbor. The babysitting thing pisses me off the most it's too late now but any time she tried that. Should have billed her for babysitting. What an entitled CNT. And no more favors. Any time she asks for you or husband to help with something. Just give her the name of a professional that she can pay to do it. Sounds like my late mom. She insisted everyone do everything for her. Her entire life. She never did anything herself. And any time people pushed back. She would act so outraged like how dare you not fix my problem. Either that or she would throw money at the person. Like. Literally. She would literally throw money at people while barking orders at them. She was a garbage human. I was half expecting that she took it in for sharpening and then handed you the bill. Helpless adults make me tired. Men who claim they can't cook. Women who don't know how to check the fluids or change a tire on their car. Unless a disability is present. It's just plain laziness. YouTube. It's a thing. She can get over it or die mad. No big whoop. No. Fuck off is the only appropriate response when she brought it up the second time after you already. Said no. Why are you conversing at all with this person? Just say you're busy. Walk away and go do something else. Rather than deal with her. If she turns nasty. Threatens or won't leave your property. Then call the cops. Fuck her and all her drama. Give me peoples are the worst. My dad thawed me how to do some things. Electricity. Carpentry. Some brickwork. Stuff like that no car cause we never had one. So I won't need to depend on a man. I live alone since he died five years ago. Well. Till I get married p. I have the opposite problem. My elderly neighbors know I'm a nurse. Occasionally I get a knock on the door for advice or help. I work a full-time job in a busy hospital. I am not in the mood to continue the caregiver role in my downtime. No escape for me. With people like that you need to have firm boundaries. I take the fuck off approach. My neighbor was like that and whenever she would come up to me to try to play those games I would. Walk away and tell her to fuck off. Eventually she got the message I wasn't going to play her games and moved on. Leaving her granddaughter thing my niece's other grandmother did this to me all the time she would. Bring over my niece and usually some other kids and just leave. Sometimes without really talking to me. Often leaving for hours with no regard for my day appointments. I don't live near them now. Thankfully. But I have my own kid now and have a weird hesitation about having play dates. I just don't want to end up with kids for hours. I hate this attitude from people. Tell her she's a grown adult figure it out. Don't do things for her that's how she ended up this way because she's able to get people to do things her whole life. Also, I'd recommend standing outside and meeting the parents of her grandchild. If my kid was being handed off to someone else without my knowledge or approval I would be pissed. Next time tell her you will send your hubs over to do her work. But you expect reciprocation. Like would she rather wash your floors? Or clean the shower stalls and toilets? Bet she doesn't ask to borrow your hubs again after that. This makes me laugh because I grew up as the only girl in my family and followed around my father brother and grandfather and now i have a very wide knowledge base on how to fix things my boyfriend never had anyone to learn from when he was younger so he doesn't really he says my diy knowledge is sexy rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing jesus thirty dollars to sharpen a lawnmower blade if i was close i would say bring it to me and i will do it for twenty I'd tell her then you'd better go out and get you one, because you can't use mine. Dude let her do it herself. Sounds like she needs you guys more than you need her lmao. 
You say mad at for few weeks I say enjoy the silence and lack of extra child to take care of. She will be back once she needs something else. Who mows her lawn? My husband got chronic illness. I had to take over everything. I have a bone defect. And don't have the pole length to start a mower. Know what I did? Bought an electric mower. Lifesaver. It's still not easy to do it. But a couple dry days. And I get it done. Rather pay someone. But not able to. And not going to play the old lady crap. Pick that puppy up. Toss it in the back if the van. Get the blade sharpened once a year. I had a neighbor who was fond of begging home repairs, but I soon found out helping her meant that. Since I was the last one to touch it I was responsible for eternity. Finally broke it off with her after her front yard tree dead up top, and had asked her for a few years to get it trimmed shed a six by four foot branch straight through my windshield, parked in our driveway. If she was mad at you for weeks, did she keep talking to you? Or give you the silent treatment? Cause there could be a positive outcome lol. OMG is your neighbor my neighbor? I live to show these people how broken my filters are. Yeah our neighbor is the same. Makes comments about how my husband should wash her car or clear her driveway. He just says no. We keep to ourselves and that drives her nuts. The only time she talks to us is if she has gossip to spread and no one to tell it to. People like her are the reason I teach my son how to be able to do as much as possible himself. Not just guy stuff like using power tools and basic mechanics. But also cooking. Laundry. Vacuuming. Shopping. I'd hate to raise someone who ended up being as useless as the ex-neighbor in this story. Let her be mad and avoid speaking to this type at all costs. Next thing will be that you agreed to babysit. And your husband will be accused of child abuse of the worst kind. Better yet, if someone like that dumps a child on you call police tell them you don't want to deal with what this lady might do. You'll see. She'll get in trouble with both police CPS her kids. Her kids would likely hit the roof if they knew what mom was doing with their babies. And if grandma keeps dumping the babies on strangers, they will be molested. It's just a matter of time. Tell her that your fill will sharpen the blades. But in return, she has to watch your daughter for the afternoon. I would ignore her from now on. She will probably never get it and it will be more of a pain in the ass to deal with her than not. 2. Ha ha. Had to laugh. I have a neighbor who says that's Mont's work whenever she has a job that isn't something she wants. To do. I've never spoken with my neighbors, and I thank God for that. These kinds are neighborly relationships aren't complicated. They just require some good will and self-awareness. I help a neighbor hang her Christmas lights every year single 25-yard strand. She regularly hooks us up with veggies from her garden. When she has a big project she needs done, she knows to hire professionals. Tell her to get to cleaning cuz that's women's work, or cooking etc. You can sharpen that blade but if something goes wrong then she'll expect a new mower. Tell her to find a man ASAP rolling on the floor laughing. OMG I'm a woman and YouTube is my friend I can now do a spring maintenance on my John Deere riding mower. I just replaced the two front tires. If you don't know how to do it you learn. I bought blades for my mower and the set of blades for my mower was $30. If you can't sharpen your blades then buy new ones and replace them. The woman is an idiot. I'm 57 so age is not an excuse. Your neighbor was mad at you. Until another emergency came up and needed you to babysit. Keep pissing her off to get out of babysitting. Anybody that abandons a kid with me, I'm on the phone to the cops one minute later. Wild. When did she marry your husband? My uncles own a pretty successful property maintenance business where I live. 
and people constantly ask me for discounts or freebies from them. So I totally understand the stupidity of this former neighbor. While she's mad at you she's not asking for favors, bask in the silence while it lasts. My neighbor parked his truck and small trailer in front of our garage entrance. My wife had trouble getting in but we didn't say anything. The very next day he was parked there again overnight even. I had to wait by the door to tell him not to do it again. If you give an inch society will take a mile and smile while doing it. Neighbor or not you just can't help people anymore without becoming their go-to for problems it makes helping intolerable in some cases. It's terrible. You engaged too long with her. Say no and close the door. And it's okay if you don't even open the door to talk to her. You enabled her. Just say no. Tell her they have pink tools now so women can do men's work. No. No is a complete sentence. It does not need reasons to make it complete. It does not require explanations. Can you sharpen this for me? No. But I'm old blah blah blah. No. Demanded even. Of course, I'm in the entitled people sub, but still, damn. You have an entitled neighbor. Being neighborly only goes so far. Put a kibosh on this as soon as possible. Not the asshole. Sounds like she needs to move in with her daughter or an assisted living facility. Why do I feel like your neighbor is old as fuck? Stop entertaining this woman. Do not answer the door. Block her number. Block her on social media. Tell her she is no longer welcome and if she comes over again you will call the police and have her legally trespassed. Stop letting this woman walk all over you. Just say sure and say I'll get a quote and ask for the type of mower it is. Come back to her in a few days say it would cost £100 $100. It's up to her to accept or reject the offer. If she does accept then you pay the company £30 and keep the rest for your trouble. But the point to this is she hopefully would stop asking if you deny helping for free and it would. Encourage her to get her own quotes and work done cheaper. When I lived in NY, my neighbor had OCD about the lawn and offered to mow my tiny postage stamp size front lawn which touched his. I did the backyard. It was perfect for 10 years he mowed, had chem lawn service, and edged. When his OCD was very bad, the edging was deep. I told the kids don't fall into the moat when I baked. I a ways gave him some. As a thank you. X200B. Edited to add sorry for this pointless story. I am a new widow that was moved to the suburbs 25 years ago and notice how I've fallen into the Men's stuff traditional role with stuff I didn't want to take care of but learning is only as far as Google or YouTube. Okay. One neighbor husband got forced to get a bat out one afternoon. Could I have done it? If I had to. Luckily. His wife and I agreed he should do it. He didn't. But lucky for me he was outvoted. I don't get why anyone even introduces themselves to their neighbors. Never mind getting involved in other ways. The last thing I need is some random person next door that is involved in my life in any way. Somewhere towards the end of that interaction should be GTFOH. Well, I should think so. You haven't got your husband under control. S. I get tired of that nonsense I can't do it because I'm a woman. Darlin. I'm an old woman and have done a lot of maintenance on our home. Used to do some long ago on our cars before computers were common. When our daughters were in their teens I showed them the basics of car maintenance. How to change a tire. Refill their windshield wiper reservoir. Basic stuff. If your neighbor is an adult it's high time. Refer her to YouTube. She told me it was men's work so she should find a man. God no wonder she's alone. A true gentleman would have learned to do it for her. 
Yep she deserves wife treatment from all the men around her without offering wife treatment to them. The parking space is my space that I'm paying for. Nobody else may use it. And make sure your motorbike and bicycle are securely parked there. End of discussion. Talk about having a dull neighbor. Just curious was your ex-neighbor a single window, divorced, separated or never married woman? Sounds like this happened a while ago. Why are you still mad about it? Oh I would put a stop to that surprise babysitting right away. If she comes asking just say no. I had to do that to my neighbor. So, who cares if she mad at you? Why are you even speaking to her? You can't be civil with someone who is not. Ignore her and live your happy life. Your ex-neighbor should have been ignored from day one. Once you do something nice for someone, they believe that when you give an inch, ex-neighbor will take a mile, with no fear of overstepping. No is a complete sentence. There are no rules that say you have to converse with anyone else. Stop being nice. Stop telling her any details of anything. And remember that you do not owe anyone an explanation for anything. Sharpening a blade like that takes about five minutes with a good bench grinder. But I wouldn't do it for her out of principle. Tell that cow she needs to learn how to look up things on YouTube and rely more on herself instead of being lazy and getting others to do things for her. Ugh. Fuck off is an appropriate response to choosing beggars. What an absolutely wretched human being. This gentleman seeker who is herself utterly alone. Major shocker doesn't know the difference between right and wrong. And I can guarantee she uses religion as a weapon. Undeniably a tool and a clown. If she loves professing gender roles so much. Next time remind her. It's a woman's job to babysit her own grandkid. I'm so sorry for you. You must have lived next to my husband's XSM. After his dad died, she became so needy and is such a manipulator. The whole family has gone and see with her. Yeah, you gotta love people like that not the asshole. Why would you pay this neighbor any attention? She needs to grow up and figure it out. Why do you care if she is mad at you? She is counting on you to care so she can manipulate you. She considers you a sucker not a person. Women like this are awful I was a single parent for 10 years. I rotated my tires. Fixed my dryer. Yes. I had help sometimes from friends. But I traded roast beef for help I usually made Sunday dinner and some friends would come over and Look at my projects I needed help with or gasp paid someone to do what I couldn't do. Have you thought of telling her to fuck off? Grow a pair Jesus Christ. Keep your interactions short and curt. Sorry. I'm my husband is busy. Good luck with that. Keep repeating. Stop explaining. Offering alternatives and engaging with her unless you actually plan on doing something for her. Lazy, rude and sexist to boot. Why is she living single? She has so much to offer. I have a neighbor like this. Sits on her porch on her phone. Yard is a mess. Has yet to mow her grass in the 10 months she's live there. My wife monitored the kids twice while they mowed her yard and a guy down the street has cut the front yard twice. It seems easier to fight with whole neighborhood than to raise the kids you care for. Because everyone else is dealing with them. Trash everywhere. There's a lot of depression in the house. But you can't just talk a strong game. Hope she stays angry and avoids you. So an annoying neighbor hasn't talked to you in a few weeks? Seems like it was worth it. She is a nutcase. It's a generational thing but yes she needs to buck up and get in the game. I'm not a gentleman. Do it her damn self. I'm very concerned for you as I would just move so I don't have to deal with these people. 
Let's all have a moment of silence for her husband, whom she dragged his manhood through the mud. Doesn't think he can sharpen a lawnmower blade? Tears of joy. This is definitely the type of person who has millions in their mattress or languishing in accounts. She never withdraws from. Moved in. Next door neighbor introduces herself to my wife about a week later. Still unpacking organizing mode. She is a tiny Korean woman about 55. Out of the blue she starts. Mind you. She didn't even say. Neighbor I'm named my husband died. Do you have a husband? Wife yes. Neighbor you're lucky. Then she proceeded to say how many things she can't do. And hinted if my wife could get me to do the handyman stuff for her. Wife is pretty smart. So she nipped that in the bud immediately. And said he's busy a lot. So no. Thanks wife. I don't understand why people just don't say no. When someone tries shit like this with me I just say no immediately. Then they know I have boundaries. I don't make any excuses. No. If they want an explanation it's just no. I don't do favors. Period. Keep her mad at you less work. Log POK. Correct response. Wiper right. You should get a man. I love mine. But like a toothbrush. They are not a share toy. I didn't even know lawnmower blades needed to be sharpened. She told me it was men's work. Okay. I would have told her then go get your own man. This is my man. He takes care of my household. Like tell her this. Bet she'll never have the audacity to make claims of this sort on your husband. TFI would have been set this old bish straight. Man these posts make me so glad for my in-laws. Mill feeds me cookies and Italian roast beef sandwiches until I can't move and then my Phil buys me. Beer. All while letting us crash at their place in Florida and then taking us to see cool shit like. Tarpon Springs and Legoland. My mom's only problem is constantly rescuing cats and kittens and then trying to talk us into being. Fosters. Like woman if I hold a kitten I ain't giving it away keep them away from me. Tell her to take a flying suck at a rolling donut. At least when she was mad she didn't drop the granddaughter, right? Sounds like if she were less of a bitch. She'd have a husband to help. She's gonna go up vote all the men are trash posts when she gets done pouting. I'm a handy guy with some knowledge and a strong back. You have no idea how many people in the world just expect me to do things for them for near nothing. Just because. I'd be tempted to tell her I'd be willing to remove the blade so she could get the cheaper. Sharpening. Hey. I told her I'd remove the blade. Never said anything about reinstalling it. Oh. That's easy. Just tell her you'll do it for $50 and it'll take a day or two. Then take it to the service shop and pocket at least $20 lol. Wow. Talk about entitlement. It is quite obvious why she is single. Totally cut all ties with her. Old saying give them a inch and they'll take a mile. There was a woman in my mother's friend group would only accept drinks poured by a man. Because it somehow made a difference. It seems it also wasn't optional. If there was anything remotely male over the age of 12 in the vicinity she would badger them about. It. That it was rude not to spend their time making drinks for the ladies. Super weird. Definitely on the creeper scale. What kind if man can't sharpen a lawnmower blade? She really isn't the sharpest knife in the crayon box. How does this woman function? No is a full sentence, and I recommend you start using it often with her. Serious question how sharp does a mower blade need to be to cut grass? Sounds like my sister. She's never wanted to do anything because it's easier to just guilt other people into doing things. For her, if she can't manipulate guilt you into doing things. She'll spread rumors about you. I've learned to not do anything for her because if you do one tiny thing for her she'll decide. 
She's entitled to you doing everything for her anytime she wants. If all of this is a man's job then why doesn't she find a man who will put up with her and her antics? Honestly, don't be afraid to stand up to her and tell her straight that you and your family will never cater to her because you are not obligated. If she ever knocks for her granddaughter to play with your daughter, don't answer the door. I am a single elderly lady. I own my own home. Whenever I need something done around the house, I look on YouTube to find instructions. I would advise your neighbor to do the same.